This is the Fountain Pajot MY4S. It's a brand new model being launched here at Cannes. It's the smallest power cat in the Fountain Pajot range and it's absolutely all new. It's not based on an existing motor yacht design. It's not an adapted sailing cat design. It was built from the ground up to be a motor yacht. And there's no flywheel option on this boat. It's just a sedan. And starting price is 480,000 euros, excluding VAT. And they reckon you could have a, a decent spec one for under 600,000 euros, excluding VAT as well. Standard power is a pair of Yanmar 150s, but this has got a Yanmar 250s or two Yanma 250s I should say top speed about 23 knots cruising speed between 12 and 15 knots so let's have a look at the layout a bit more closely then this particular boat has actually got the optional hydraulic platform this is where you keep your tender it's got a 250 kilogram weight limit so you couldn't really have a jet tender or anything like that on there but a, a soft bottom or hard bottom normal tender with an outboard would be absolutely fine and when you get into the cockpit you really begin to appreciate this catamaran layout there's just so much space on board you really feel the beam in this area obviously it feels even bigger because the table is not in place it's actually stowed away at the moment but you can have a table that fits in just in this area here this hatch here is a bit of shallow storage for the shore power cable things like that it's not too deep but it's in quite a handy location obviously you've got your cockpit seating here and it's quite neat that you can flatten these two backrests and extend these squabs here so you lengthen out the sunbathing space and as you can see this boat's actually got a canopy erected off the back of the overhang here it's a solid overhang up until this point and then if you want a bit more shade you can extend out using that canopy and you can also enclose this entire area so if you want to use this area when the weather's not so good you can still do that and then you extend your living space even in poor weather because of course you have the saloon to enjoy as well should also point out that the engines are down here of course being a catamaran each engine has its own hull so there's loads and loads of space around these motors as i said these are the larger 250s on straight shaft drives you can just see the generator is in this starboard engine room as well but loads of space around there to work on the engine really neat and tidy installation and of course the port engine has exactly the same over on the other side shut that back down again We're carrying on the decks because the feeling of space continues on these side decks. There's a nice grab rail here to help you up onto the side decks. A couple of relatively steep steps, but the decks are so wide it makes it really easy to walk down. You can genuinely walk one foot in front of the other. The guard rail comes up to a decent height. It does feel really safe moving up to this area and it's completely flat as well. There's a little ridge up onto the coach roof here, but there's nothing to chip over. There are no steps. It's a very easy boat to move around on and of course not having a flybridge this becomes a really significant area this foredeck and they've just layered it in a massive sun pad nice to see a removable tray there so you can bring drinks and snacks easily from the galley and bring them up to the foredeck here these hatches here are all cabin hatches so this is actually the master bathroom and we'll show that from the inside of course that's the hatch for the master cabin and this is a hatch for the forward guest cabin you can see the roof here there's a sliding sunroof as an option on this boat so that pushes back and lets some natural ventilation come in through the roof which is quite a nice option you can have solar panels as well and it's crying out for it you've got a massive surface area here that's exposed to the sun so some solar panels on here which help charge the batteries and mean you can run the domestic supply hopefully without running the generator if what you're doing isn't too power intensive Moving into the saloon and what's most striking is because this boat doesn't have a flybridge you have amazing amount of glazing because you have this double sunroof up here. So the light in here is pretty extraordinary especially when you team it with all these light fabrics it does feel very bright and airy in here and I like the way that they've snaked the dinette sofa all the way around the side here so there's plenty of places to sit and relax. They've even got a cushion up there on the right hand side next to the helm. Of course this is your galley area so you have the top loading bin there, a bit of storage in the counter there. Obviously you've got a twin sink, you've got a microwave oven here, Kenyan induction hob up here, and your fridge cooling space is down there, so a domestic style fridge. Storage is pretty good as well. Work this into here. 
television is obviously mounted up there. It looks a little incongruous, but I suppose it's the only place they could have it really if they wanted to have this storage along here. Dinette table goes up and down electronically and these leaves fold out as well so you can double it in size if you want to actually use it to, to eat. And there will be curtains here as well, they haven't been fitted to the showboat but you have some curtains for some privacy. And it's nice to see there's some portholes though, however you think you could fit, considering the size of the windows, maybe some slightly larger sliding sections just to really boost the ventilation here. But then of course you have got a sunroof overhead. This is the only home station obviously. Set quite low but then you've got bolster seats so you can sort of perch on the edge there so you've got a decent view forward very neat very clean helm position with everything basically contained in these screens you've got your Yanmar engine screen there Garmin which also will show your engine information and you've got the boat management system here so you've got all the boat systems at your fingertips Yanmar throttles over on that side and of course no bow thruster on this boat because it is a catamaran and what this catamaran layout allows you to do is be very flexible with the cabin spaces. So you can have four or three cabins. This particular boat's got three cabins. And what that means is in the port side hull, if we go down here, shut the door, you have this entire hull pretty much, apart from the engine room aft, dedicated to being the owner's cabin. And what a space it is for a boat of this size. You have a lovely large double bed with this really big window right next to it. So lying in bed, you would be able to look out over the water if you're on anchor. Obviously there's some natural ventilation as well through these portholes. Little sofa here, and then storage is really impressive as well. You've got a hanging locker here. And then between the cabin and the heads compartment, you have a sort of walk-in wardrobe. So you have a bit more storage here. This door closes and you've got some shelving here and then you have the bathroom which again for both of this size is really really spacious and headroom is really excellent throughout this cabin loads and loads of headroom you know i'm six foot one i've got loads of space above my head a sort of semi separate shower cubicle so it's a bit more of a wet room but you know you can stand up in there have a decent shower and then you have some ventilation overhead as well we saw these from the outside but this means you can ventilate this area really easily and let the steam out if you are having a shower. But you know, this really is a very special cabin for a boat of this size. But if you have a big family and sleeping spaces and consideration, or you're thinking of having the boat for charter purposes, you could have in that hull what they have in this hull. So you have four cabins, two guest cabins. So this is forward, you have a double bed here. Berth isn't as big as the aft berths, but still a reasonable size. Headroom is as good as the other hull. There's a bit of storage dotted around either side and a hanging locker behind the door. There's actually an extra fridge here. And these cabins share a bathroom, but one thing I've thought about being in these hulls is they could maybe do with implementing sliding doors because these big opening doors do take up quite a lot of space when you're moving around the boat. It does make it a little bit awkward to move around. So if these doors could slide away into the bulkheads, as opposed to open like this, it would make it feel a bit more spacious. But the bathroom, again, it's more of a wet room, is a good size once you're inside it. No hatch here, but you have got some ventilation from the porthole there. And then you have your aft guest cabin, which is a much bigger bed, similar size to the master on the other side of the boat. Again, it benefits from this large window You've got reading lights at the top and again storage is, is pretty generous. You've got shelving all the way down here so you can put odds and ends down there. And you have your hanging locker here. And that is about the shape of it. The Phantom Pajot MY4S. Thank you very much for watching the tour. Hope you liked it. Please give the video a like if you did and remember to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon so that you're always reminded when we upload a new video. Thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next one.